What's up, Fragrant Family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you another top 10 video. And, you know, I've seen this one kind of floating around the different uh, fragrance review channels. I know Ross Carlos, TLTG uh, Reviews, he just did one on this, and then a couple others, I believe Fragmental, um, you know, they've done one. Uh, a couple other different, you know, YouTube reviewers have done it. Um, I don't believe it's a tag video, but surprise, I'm going to make it a tag video. I'm going to turn my little twist to it. This is now a tag video, and there's nothing you guys can do about it. I mean, you could not do it, which would kind of ruin the point, but I believe in you guys, you're going to do it and it's going to be great. This is my designer top 10 recommendation list. These are fragrances that I'm always, always going to recommend for one reason or another. And these ones are relatively inexpensive. These are what I would consider a cheapy. There's only three on here that go above 50 bucks. So I consider anything really under 50 bucks or 50 bucks and under a cheapy. So hopefully that doesn't break the bank for you guys. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this. Whenever you guys do the tag video, these can be as expensive or inexpensive as you want. But for me, I'm doing this designer and then I'm also going to do a niche version because I, I just can't pick 10 niche and designers and it just, it messes with my brain, it messes with my soul. I can't do it. There's so many good fragrances out there. How do you pick only 10? So I'm doing it into two different categories, designer and niche. This is the designer. It's a tag video. Tyrone Brosense, you are tagged. And then I don't know if you've ever been tagged before or not, but John Morrell, man, I'm tagging you. If you haven't had a tag video yet, this is your first one. Welcome to the fragrance family. You are tagged, sir. So these are gonna be, like I said, top 10 designer edition fragrances that you are always recommend, that you always give your okay and approval to, especially for newbies, people who are just getting in the game, even people who have been, um, you know, in the Frag Kamawath, if they haven't smelled these, you would always, always, always recommend these. So um, I do have one caveat though. There is an honorable mention on here. So it's technically 11, but I'm not gonna count that because it's an honorable mention and it's my video. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and get into this. Guys, first, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. We just passed 200 the other day. Super, super blessed. Thank you all of my subscribers for that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We are now family. You are in the fragrance family. As you notice, every video I say, welcome to the fragrance family. You guys are now part of it. So thank you so much. Super excited you guys are here. Let's go ahead and dive right in. First, gotta get the honorable mention out of the way. The only reason, and I heavily emphasize the only reason why this is an honorable mention is because it is now discontinued. If you saw my last video, you know, you know, the heartbreaking, gut-wrenching, just disgusting news that Mont Blanc Starwalker was discontinued. That's right, this citrusy gem with a bamboo in here, fragrance is, is discontinued. I can't believe it. Um, it Man, this stuff is amazing. So as I said, this is, it opens up very bright, very citrusy, a little bit aquatic in here. And then you also got this bamboo note in here that is super refreshing, super relaxing. And honestly, I like to just spray this sometimes at night before I go to bed, it puts me in a relaxed state of mind and it just kind of calms me down. Very, very easy to wear. Very, very, very safe. Blind buy. If you never smelled this, super, super safe, super citrusy, super bright. Um, and like I said, almost aquatic and the bamboo in here really kind of wraps it all up and it makes it just, just pleasant. I don't know how else to say it. Um, this stuff is amazing. So at the number 11 spot, technically, because it's an honorable mention, Mont Blanc Starwalker. All right, let's go ahead and get into these top tens. Again, these are not really in any particular order because I'm super terrible about, you know, assigning said fragrance, said number, because Fragrances honestly are objective and subjective and opinionated depending on what day, my mood, the time of year. Like one day I would suggest, hey, this one is at number four, but then tomorrow I'm in a different mood and this one is what I recommend because I'm wearing a white shirt. You know what I mean? Like just, I'm very bad about putting certain fragrances into categories. So these are all on here. So I recommend them. They're in my top 10 list. So there's not one, five, seven, whatever. It's just all my top 10. So let's go ahead and bust this out. First on the list, if you guys have been part of the channel for a while, you know this was my first big boy fragrance as I say it. This was one that I spent what I considered a lot of money on at the time. Got my first job and moved out my first, you know, 
in my first house um you know really kind of started making my way as my own man and this is the fragrance that i was wearing excuse me this is versace oh man fresh and oh man is it fresh this stuff is super light, citrusy, aquatic, a little bit of a spicy note in there with that pink pepper, but the star of this one, no pun intended, is the star fruit that is in here. It is absolutely to die for. I must have for the spring and summer. Realistically, you can wear it all year round. I mean, I did for years. That's before I knew anything about different fragrances for different seasons and stuff, but I got compliments in the wintertime on this bad boy. The ladies love it. I love it. Recommend it. Boom. All right next on the list this one can be easily found at burlington especially right now they're popping up everywhere i'm probably gonna get some more here soon i don't 100 percent know but i'm actually really really uh, in love with this line um i had a little sample of this probably two years ago kind of forgot about it not gonna lie but i saw this and i was like oh hey i know this i've smelled that picked up instant love i bought two bottles one for me one for my wife very unisex very easy to wear this is banana republic pure white this is like a 20 dollar gym man you can get this at, like i said burlington ross marshall's places like that for around 20 22 bucks somewhere in there um you know depending on state taxes and stuff like that but picked this up not too long ago i think it was like last week or the week before last at uh, burlington um, super mass appealing, easy to wear, just a dumb, safe grab to reach when you don't really know what to wear. You don't want to give too much thought into it. You just spray and go. Super light. You're not going to offend anybody. I mean, I probably wouldn't do like 17 sprays or anything, but I mean, if you did five, six, seven sprays, it's not going to be that big a deal. Um, it doesn't project super heavy, but it does make its presence known. So three, four sprays should be good get a good longevity off of it, at least off my skin for a freshie that's impressive so uh, very unisex um, smells very good on a guy or girl my wife smells fantastic when she wears it I like it so gotta recommend that one all right next on the list this is a date night must-have that's right I'm saying must-have have to have this if you don't then you're not doing yourself any kind of justice or your fragrance collection any kind of justice this is a date night staple it is a fall and winter staple must have you grow seven chest hairs when you wear this stuff this is how good this stuff is for men only not for women um this stuff Dolce & Gabbana the one EDP you have to get the EDP no, I'm joking. you don't have to but um, the EDP it does um, last substantially longer than the EDT at least off my skin I'm getting like nine to ten hours off of this I got magic skin I don't know what it is everyone says they get crap performance and crap uh, longevity off of this you can see how much I've used off of this and that's only with going like four sprays guys like I don't have to use a lot to get um, you know um, a lot of projection and a lot of longevity off of this. This is absolutely a must have in the fragrance collection. Very easy, very dumb, safe, easy uh, reach for date night, for a nighttime scent for the fall and winter. All right, moving on. This one, guys, it literally costs like $3.75. Not really. It's probably like 15 bucks, but this is Nautica Voyage. This is just like a staple in the fragrance community like 15 bucks like probably the best 15 bucks you'll ever spend especially for a high heat summer uh time you know atmosphere when it's super hot and humid outside this is a must have for those type of seasons my wife actually really enjoys this you can see how much i've used of this it's just an easy safe blind um just blind buy blind grab um whatever you want to call it it's amazing super easy to wear all right next on the list this one it might be i mean a little challenging maybe if you're not any kind of gourmand fan or any kind of a sweet kind of fan but if you like sweet fragrances if you like fall and winter into early spring type fragrances this is an absolute must-have this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time this is my wife's one of her favorite fall fragrances this is boss bottled number six this is the original apple pie in a bottle type fragrance man i freaking love this stuff super fresh um it's got this light crisp citriness citriness well citrus wow i can't talk citrus in the opening and then there's a beautiful just like caramely apple pie cinnamon spiced um little dry down to this that smells fantastic hugo boss bottle number six big enough for like 30 bucks uh, fragrance.net places like that 
This one, this one's made several of my videos. This one is how a gentleman should smell, super classy, elegant, not old date, not old man or dated by any means, but just well put together, well dressed, sharp dressed, the perfect offense. Oh my, oh my gosh, I can't talk. The perfect office fragrance, John Bravados original. This stuff, man, this is super super awesome the last time i wore this i wore it um to get um some ramen went and had myself just a little you know m myself kind of date went and got myself some ramen just kind of did my did, had a little me time walked by a couple ladies and she said sir you smell fantastic what are you wearing told her what it was she bought it right on amazon on the spot for her husband she liked it that much boom so there you go, John Bravados. It's really kind of a great spring, fall, winter type fragrance. It's a little spicy, a little bit of a um, citrus note on the top. Um, not quite sure what it is, but it is very, very good. All right, and then this one is also a easy, safe, blind buy. You don't really know what you wanna wear that day. This one, it's gonna get you there. It's, it's got uh, citrus, it's got lemon, it's got um, aquatic notes into it. This is Versace Pour Homme. This is the, or Versace Signature, however you wanna say it. Man, this stuff is just easy, easy, easy to wear. This stuff is a summertime must have. Uh, my wife loves this. This was full when I first got it maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago. So it's got quite a bit of juice out of it and it is absolutely stellar. Really great entry level. Um, I mean, anywhere from like high school up till really, you know, 90, whatever. I mean, however old you wanna be when you wear this, this doesn't really have an age limit. This is just a great, great fragrance. Very office um, approved um, fragrance. You know, I wore it all the time when I worked in the office and people love this stuff. So Versace for home. And then I had to include this one on here because whenever you're getting into the fragrance game, all you're going to hear about is Aventus, Aventus, ah, Aventus. Like that's what everyone's going to tell you about. You need to get Aventus. You need to not pay your car payment and you need to get Aventus. Don't do that. Get this instead whenever you're first getting into the fragrance game. This is Mont Blanc Explorer. As you can tell, my little wrap is torn off. Don't know really how that happened, but uh, this is Explorer. There's like a little leather strap pouch that goes over it and tail of star in there pretty cool but anyways this is a great great entry level eventish eventus ish if you will fragrant everyone recommends uh club de nuit mints club de nuit intense man it smells good but the opening is super harsh it smells like lemon pledge and like just alcohol don't recommend the opening. The dry down is fantastic, however, but I included this one because this one, it gives you the Aventus vibe, but it takes it for a twist. It dries down a little bit leathery, a little bit more uh, smoky, if you will, but opens up really bright citrusy. It's the bergamot in here, but it kind of gives off a pineapple vibe. At least that's what I got whenever I first smelled this. And it's very, very good. This one I've wore pretty heavily. As you can tell, I've had it for about a year or so now. And, you know, I have lots of fragrances. So this one does get heavily used. Man, I love this stuff. My cousin Chad, he wears this. Shout out to you, Chad, if you watch this. Um, and he smells fantastic. He wore it um, like the New Year's Day or something like that. We went to a family gathering and I can smell them and it smells super great. So um, very, very, very good. You can pay this for like 54 bucks on fragrance.net now. So really really good uh, Aventus Aventus ish that's hard to say um, type of cologne that'll get you going and um, kind of get you the feel for Aventus but if you want to buy Aventus hey just buy Aventus but all right moving on this one these are the this one and the next one and then Dolce these were the ones that were you know over the $50 range and I guess the Mont Blanc after taxes you know over 50 but this one you there's not too many places that have it heavily discounted at least I haven't seen it you're going to be spending around 65 to 70 dollars depending on where you shop it um, this one is a 200 ml so um, you know it's gonna be more expensive I got this off of a trade so I didn't actually even buy this but this is a great great all year round type fragrance now we need those in our collection we need some that we need the Swiss Army knife. You can wear it to the office. You can wear it on a date. You can wear it casually. You can wear it to Walmart. You can wear it when you're about to get in the shower. Like, you know, like just those type of fragrances that don't really have said occasions um, and don't really have said seasons. This one literally works great from spring all the way to winter, like all the way through. It's great. This is 
YSL or Yves Saint Laurent Loam. This stuff, man, it's fresh, a little bit of a powdery note. The ginger in here is absolutely stellar. Man, whenever I worked at the uh, cologne shop, shout out to you, Ross, um, I sold so much of this stuff, it wasn't even funny. Like, kids coming in, 13, 14 years old, they're like, what do you recommend? I have seen, you know, Versace, Versace, Versace. And I was like, guys, get this. Boom, spray it. Fall in love with it instantly. Their mom loves it. They love it. They all leave happy, and it's a good time. Boom. Yves Saint Laurent, alone. And then I had to include this one because this is the quintessential fall fragrance. Now, they have gutted this fragrance to be just a, a I mean, no, just a, a fraction of what it used to be whenever this first came out. This used to last all day. Now it doesn't last very long, but it still does get the compliments. I get the occasional compliment when I wear this if I spray heavy. And this is just another quintessential date night fragrance. This is La Nuit de Lome from Yves Saint Laurent. And man, cardamom, spicy, powdery, a little bit of a freshness in there. Just awesomeness. You guys, this stuff is a lady killer. My wife loves this. Um, my cousin Chad, this is his all-time favorite fragrance. Obviously not this rendition, the old 2010 or 13 and a, uh, above, like 2012, 11, 10, you know, so on and so forth. Um, that's whenever they were really good, lasted a long time, a little bit darker, and uh, just had great performance. This stuff, highly recommend. It will always be recommended by me, especially for that young book. Whenever you're getting into you know, your first office type job, that one, you're gonna get noticed, you're gonna get the compliments, and you might even get a couple of numbers, hey. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Like I said, I'm gonna tag, I'm gonna do this as a tag video, Tyrone, bro since. Um, you already know you're tagged, bro. And then John Morell, man, you guys are tagged. I wanna see what 10 designer fragrances you would always recommend to people for one reason or another. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that red button. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I just want honest feedback. So, all right, guys, like I say on every video, if you love it, wear it.